if I try to do that? Choke Good news, Bradley. your video is now working perfectly fine. You say Dennis Chugs Bradley. So I may have swapped out my spells. I'm just quickly adding the uh, thing into my inventory. Worth 10 GP. Add item. Okay, spells, 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 spells. I do, I do have identify. Uh, one minute. Unless I do it as a ritual, it will take 10 minutes. Okay, hold on a second. Perception. Oh. Wait. Hang on. I... Uh, I... apparently your stream I... is muted. Can you hear me? I have the. I can hear the rest of us in the stream. But we can't hear Dennis. <laughs> Your beloved sibling is laughing in the chat. <laughs> For reason it, it disconnected the uh, mic. Hey, there we go. Okay, I don't know. I there, genuinely yeah. don't know. Okay, we'll find out if the entire first hour was just it just didn't happen. <laughs> we'll find out if my lovely do if like my uh, lovely little message for bloody just sort of like fell on its ass. Who knows? Who cares? We'll see. Technology. But anyway, we are back, and we are doing a thing. I will, um, so, yes, a perception check from Rolda. Unfortunately, Rolda, you don't really hear much uh, from inside. Um, you guys are just uh, kind of focusing on doing your own thing at the moment. Uh, so... I would like, um, I would say, is everybody okay with where they are positioned at the moment? Uh, yes. Yeah, Bogget is quite happy staying in the closet. Okay, I think that's reasonable. So, <laughs> I think no, that's that, reasonable. No, not even a touch of iron. Yeah, no, 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 I'm going to completely sandbag that joke. So... I think that now is the perfect time for a few things to happen. Would 
for no reason whatsoever, would everyone just like to roll me an initiative? I'm sure it's completely harmless. Absolutely. Absolutely. I had it. Why did that roll twice? God damn it. God damn you, Can you give me that 21, please? <laughs> Okay, and Specky, of course, Specky gets no initiative because he would break the game. Uh, the only person we need an initiative from would be Tertra. Uh, they are pretty much in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. I, I, I figured. My apologies. Um, let me see if I can open their sheet and get uh, the initiative that way. I think I can. If this would please work, that would be great. Okay, so uh, that is going to be a 16 for Tertra. Okay, so this is... How things are going to play out. Um, I would say because uh, Tertra and Rolder are near the front, um, they are the first to hear a scrambling sort of <laughs> sound as coming just around the corner are they see the shape of a um, a humanoid form. Um, the arms uh, appear to be bound, uh, but trailing away behind it is like a, a broken, uh, snapped rope. Uh, the lower jaw is missing. Uh, simply uh, an upper jaw with teeth and tongue and mad fell eyes as uh, the zombie is going to charge around and the first thing it's going to see is uh, a little kobold. Now, since uh, Cream is currently AFK, I'm not going to uh, make actions for them, but I am going to allow them to have their turn when they get back. Does that seem fair? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Rolder, it is your turn. You basically hear the mad scrabblings of uh, a Zambambo. Uh, what would you like to do in this moment? Zumbi. It, it is a Zumbi, apparently, because it you have no idea where it came from, and it seems to be moving at speed. Oh, I see. I hit. I'm, I'm here. I, for, I forgot. I forgot to mute myself. <laughs> Not a problem. So, what would you like to do? Uh, well, starters, he's going to move out in front of the zombie. Uh huh. And then. I did. And then he's going to put his new scimitars to use. And. So I can order here. Hmm. And I have two weapon fighting. So, first scimitar. Uh, 15. Uh, that is actually going to hit. And then second attack with offhand. Uh, 13 is also going to hit. Very nice. And... 
Okay, slash slash. Uh, you basically uh, carve up this thing as it's stumbling around. <coughs> I would say the downside of this, its arms are now free. Uh, it Again, it looked like it was kind of like stumbling around. Its arms had been tied up, but its legs were free. Um, but yeah, it looks like it might have also... One of the arms is now hanging free as well from its side. So that's something. Any bonus actions? Anything else you want to try and do? Uh, well, actually, it struck an attack was my bonus action. Ah, I, I got gotcha. you. My apologies. Okay, then. So next up, uh, Bucket. It is now your turn. What would Bucket like to do? I assume Bucket has heard the commotion. Uh, yes, you can't see anything, but you can hear the noise. Okay, and Bucket is going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, just go there instead so we can get a line on the guy. And... Amacast! Uh, Firebolt 22 is going to hit. Um, so that's nine points of fire damage. Okay. Uh, it is looking very badly hurt, hurt and smoldering. Not in the handsome way. Has like this sort of like loose jaw sort of gurgle. Uh, it sort of like glances at you. So like, Doesn't look happy. Seems the map has uh, frozen again. We, your camera is moving, but the map hasn't moved since the zombie has appeared. I okay. There we go. Yes. No. That's um. Yeah. That's uh, an issue on uh, my end there. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Again, I because it's a one monitor. If I don't have part, I have to do something very creative in order to make sure everything got refreshes and updates. Hmm. Yeah, there's a couple of plates to spin, but you know. So, uh, yeah. Uh, anything else you want to try and do? Uh, I have no real bonus actions, unfortunately. Okay, so next up, it's uh, Blue's turn. You're going to hear 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh... So you hear this mad scampering sound as this zombie basically... Actually, let's make it, yeah, 35... Basically, 40. This zombie uses its full 40 feet of movement. 40 feet of movement. And it basically barges past a uh, roller. And it is going to take a swipe at them as it does so. Uh, Rolder does a... I'm assuming a 7 doesn't hit. Uh, 7, no. Fortunately, yeah. Basically, it's just like flailing its um, like shoulders madly. Again, this one looks like it's been bound up. Uh, it was basically trying to body check you as it was going through you. Fortunately, you were able to step to the side. Uh, the one that you all have been attacking, however, its arms are free and it is going to take another swing at you. This one is going to be, I'm assuming a 20 does hit. Roller, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you take two points of bludgeoning damage as this wet, uh, meaty uh, limb, you know, impacts uh, onto your head. Rolled very low on its damage there. Uh, but it's going to stay put for the moment because it seems to enjoy uh, the treat it's been given. Number three, however, that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, I would say basically um, both Rolder and the other zombie uh, are body checked as this uh, individual just barrels past uh, both uh, Bucket and Tarth. And is going to try and take a swing at... Bucket doesn't look very tasty. Tarth, on the other hand. Does an 18 hit? 
18 will hit. Good. Well, we've got a much more better roll now. That's going to be seven points of bludgeoning damage to you. Okay. As, again, it basically slams itself into you and uh, the impact removes uh, what remained of its bonds. Fortunately, however, it is now your turn to respond, Tarth. And how would you like Tarth to do that? He's going to slam the spikes from his axes into his shoulders like usual. Uh -huh. Taking an extra damage. And I will say this bucket you see as the axes seem to be vibrating. Ooh. And I need to make sure I'm do this should be the right one. Taff is going to aim for the head. Okay. Uh, uh, I think a 22 is going to hit. Yeah. So. It's, it's still standing. <laughs> uh, six points of damage. Um, yes. So describe to me. Okay. Describe to me the uh, the attack you've just done. Basically. As Tarth's axe, because he won't missed, his first axe slams into the zombie's stump. Mm -hmm. Since he's still got an next stump left now. Mm -hmm. You hear the vibration as the force damage is inflicted. Okay, okay. So it's almost like a vibro blade. Fair enough. Yeah, um, so here's the thing. You think you did a really good job there. You slammed it right in. The creature barely reacts. It just sort of like hisses and snaps at you. Doesn't seem impressed. And uh, that's Taff's move, really. Okay. Uh, next up, I'm really sorry. That was just, this was just the pacing of how this um, encounter was going to go. Uh, do we have a cream back? Hang on. If it's unavailable, I can easily say that uh, Turcha has been knocked out for a moment. Oh, that's actually wants to... Yeah, we can do up. that like uh, yesterday. Yesterday? Uh, yesterday, last week. Time is a weird soup. <laughs> uh, he is almost done. Okay, my apologies, my apologies. That's just... Time is but an illusion. Lunchtime doubly so. We'll do Rolder and then we can go back to Cream. Okay? No, oh, I'm here. Oh. Hey, I'm sorry. sorry. About that. No, you have nothing to apologize for. Yeah, for right? Me. Yeah, I'm fine. Just had to use the bathroom. Yeah. I apologize. Uh, um, my turn's pretty simple. Mm -hmm. Um, and it was funny because when I was talking to Icy about it. But. Spell list, spell list. Okay. First, I'm going to use enlarge. Ooh. On Tarth. Oh boy. Make my lizard man grow. All right and then. That's my bonus action. I inspire Tarth as well. Okay. And then I look at the creature. Kill. <laughs> Enjoy. Okay, size, people, waiting oh. for the Take oh, a five foot step. That's my. Well, no, that's my move action. That's it. I'm done. Okay, so Tarth has been embiggened. He's got a little bit bigger. Uh, he was also inspired, is that correct? <laughs> yes. Uh, I love it. Inspired thing. Inspired. Hmm. Inspired. And I think we went with uh, this for the inspiration icon. So, uh, anything else for Turcha? Nope, that's it. Delicious. Uh, next up, Rolda. Work at its best. What would you like okay. to do? Well, let's go ahead and first, first, same as the second, first, same as the first, mm -hmm. and. Oh, one on green, which was, I believe, the yes. one that attacked. Was green the one that attacked me before? Uh huh. Yep, yep, yep. And the shell gonna hit. Okay, that is actually gonna hit. Uh, but first of all, I need. Um, I would like you. Actually, no. I need to do the uh, Constitution saving throw. That's five plus six, seven, eight, nine. 
Zombies are so ha <laughs> Okay, so basically, um, your first attack, you see the light kind of go out of the eyes of the zombie for a moment as it starts to crumple. And then just as it falls to one knee, the, the, the light returns and it starts to stand up again. What would you like right. to do? Well... I'll just oh, can I oh. ah, fuck it. Take it again. Okay, yeah, swing swing. Uh an eleven is gonna hit and again, uh five damage. Uh that's gonna be let me see, that's five that's seven. let's see if it makes its current save again. Okay, this time, thankfully. Um, the second swing is going to put it out, and that creature is now finally destroyed. Bucket! <coughs> what would you like to do? Make a martyr sound. Uh, first, stare up at the giant lizard. Mm. Gulp. Yeah, Paige Cooper. <laughs> step back. Uh, that will be an attack of opportunity from Red. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> um, well, here's the thing. Does it... Technically, it's not flanking you, which is just as well. Because if it was, that would have been a natural 20. Oh. That having been said, does a 14 hit bucket. Meets it, beats it. Take five points of bludgeoning damage. Two, three, four, five. <sighs> okay, uh, in that case, um... Bucket is then going to use. Probably going to pick up a random hard object that's on this table and cast mm -hmm. Catapult, flinging it at uh, Red. Okay. Uh, a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Interesting. Uh, that's a fail. Uh, that's going to be 12 points of bludgeoning damage. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, uh, basically, I would say this, uh, you knock off its jaw, so it matches the first one. So, yeah, the jaw basically just comes away as one of the um, slightly mouldy books is uh, used as a catapult projectile. <laughs> I like it. So, anything else? No, that's pretty much what Bucket's got right now. Actually, is, is Rhonda hurt? Um... I think she, uh, I think they took a, a bonk to the head earlier, but it was only two points of damage unless I'm mistaken. Okay, I'll hold on to healing then for now. Mm. <clears throat> and Karth's massive, so he's fine. Yes, yep. mighty fine. <laughs> uh, speaking of uh, Bucket, I would say, hmm, here's the thing. There's a big meaty uh, sandwich, a big meaty snack up here. Or a nice little uh, bite-sized snack down here. What are we going to go with? Let's just roll a dice. Okay, uh, so Blue is going to stumble up here and it is going to take a swing at Tarth. Um, I'm assuming a 20 is going to hit you. Yes. Take three points of bludgeoning damage. And I get an attack of opportunity. You absolutely take an attack of opportunity. Mm -hmm. 11 is going to hit. Uh, that's going to be 6 slashing damage across its back as it stumbles away from you. Okay. Next up is going to be uh, Red. Red is going to also try to take a bite out of that delicious beefcake. 16, I'm assuming, does hit. Beats it, beats it. Uh, take two points of piercing. Well, take two points of gumming damage. Let's 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 put it that way. Two points of oh, gumming damage. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> Delicious. 
And uh, it is now your turn, Tarth. How would you like to respond to this uh, inappropriate gummage? He's going to bring one axe down on red. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so that's the extra d4. Okay, that's 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, um... Yeah, it's not going to save that... Co it's not going to make that constitution saving, though, so... I make Tarth kill. Uh, you, you make Tarth kill good. And then he's going to... Without even looking, he's just going to try and bring the other axe down on blue. Okay, well, with disadvantage. Nah, fuck oh. it. Okay, so 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Jeez. Well, so much for my bardic inspiration. <laughs> okay, um, so... 18. <laughs> yeah, you basically reduced it to zero hit points, so... Hmm, that was 18 I mean, damage. I immediately start bloating how I did all the work. Yeah, so um, even with a really high constitution saving throw, it with the Bardic Inspiration, it's just a few points shy of making it. So yeah, Tarth basically wipes out both of these lads in about two swipes. So just play the caggy cut them in half. Since absolutely. Exactly great axes. <laughs> absolutely. I don't see why not. So, uh, chop chop, uh, zombie bits on the floor, and as quick as it uh, the attack began, um, it is over. Necromancer. What would you like to do? A previous inhabitant seems to have taken up necromancing. Mm. Oh. oh, this could be random zombies. I mean, that's quite common out here, is it not? Uh, yes, Rolda, give... I apologize, for, I apologize yeah. for treading on you there. Uh, Rolda, give me a history check. Mr. Yes. A ten. Um. Yeah. I would say you've not got much hands-on experience with zombie attacks. You since you spend most of your times inside the city limits. However, there did seem something a bit odd about that. You're just having trouble placing it. There was a weird energy to that fight that you're not uh, used to. What was the scrolls that Bucket identified, by the way? Uh, you didn't get a chance to identify them. Because it was mm. just as you picked them up, that is when uh, the uh, the Zambambo suddenly appeared. As if from nowhere. <gasps> yes. hmm. I found these. Give me a moment and I will figure out what they are. The notes left by the previous occupant. It's to indicate the book. Mm-hmm. Indicate that he went into one of the ziggurats. <laughs> it is logical to assume he is a necromancer now. So yeah, uh, the thing that he wrote again said, Another night with dreams of the serpents. Actually, uh, let me just copy and paste. Uh... Bippity boppity boop. That is the uh, note that you were uh, discovered. And it is signed with a V. So, uh, it'll take a minute or two, but uh, once you've uh, cast Identify, the two spells are a scroll of healing word and a scroll of protection from evil and good. Ooh. Uh, I will mention that to the rest of the party. Who would... Wait, what spell school rules are you running? Are you running raw or my version? I kind of like the ones that we did from uh, Ice's game where um, anybody can use a spell scroll. 
Yeah, uh, that's similar to the one I do. The one I do is basically, if it's not your class, it has a slightly more difficult rule, but everyone can. Mm. You know, that's valid, yeah, if it's... I think that's a, a fair trade-off, actually, yeah. Yep. I just wanted to clarify, because spell scrolls in Raw is dumb. Mm. <laughs> because the magic is already infused in the thing. But no. My, my only uh, thing was they had to physically have it in their possession at the time. Can't be bag yeah. holding. Hmm, agreed, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a given, yeah. Yeah. You have okay. to have the scroll, you have to be reading it physically, and the scroll just ignites and evaporates as the spell is cast, whether it succeeds or fails. Who would get the best use out of these? What are they again? Uh, it's in the chat there. School of Healing Word and School of Protection from Good and Evil. Almost at or... I, yeah, I'd say give him to Turcha. It's literally all I'm building my character as is a support. Mm -mm. And Bucket will offer the scrolls. I will take them. Okay. Make use of them, little for little scaly friend. I was gonna say fuzzy, but you're not fuzzy. Like cobalt, there's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> So well, in original D and D, they were more dog-like, so they were furry, but not anymore. Yeah, They're little dragons. Generally speaking, these dinosaurs had feathers. Kobolds could have feathers, so I accept this head cannon. Mm -hmm. mm. So, uh, is there anything uh, you wish to inspect within the uh, building further? Are we? Um... Hanging around there, where are we going? What are we doing? I find uh, nothing else under the bed or in that cupboard. It was just that spell scroll. That's pretty much it there. The occasional, uh, you know, hamper of, you know, dry, smelly socks, that kind of thing. You know, old, grubby clothing. Taps going to try and squeeze his way out the door. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a uh, dexterity check, if you'd be so kind. Um, I can just end the spell. Where's the fun in that, though? I guess. Yeah. Um, I love it. I, I'm going to keep the concentration for a while. Hey, we might need it still. For the next, yeah. Like, what is it? An hour? Mm -hmm. What does spell? Mm -hmm. uh, so, one minute. Oh, never mind. Oh, well. I would say in that case then, as Tarth is uh, basically just, just squeezing your way through, getting those uh, big lizard pecks through that door, um, you hear a slight splintering, but you manage to get through okay, and suddenly you return to normal. That was amusing. I make Tarth kill. Anyway. Um, Bucket's gonna have a little look around to see if he can find out where these guys came from. Because Bucket has no idea. Bucket was inside. Okay, uh, give me an investigation check. Bucket's good at that. Mm, 19. You see a set of uh, tracks in the mud that uh, basically head around uh, the side of the uh, area. Help me. Um, Taff is going to see if the three dots, three circles match up with the ziggurats. Um, you mean in terms of like a map location? I would say this, uh, the the three circles that you see uh, are drawn, it's literally a straight, um, you know, equal-sided triangle, whereas the uh, ziggurats, they're almost in like an L shape, like two big ones and then a small one, um, so it doesn't quite follow their arrangement. Well, uh, Bucket, as you head around the corner of the uh, hut, you do see that the tent flap here has been ripped. Well, when it was closed previously, it is now ripped open. And uh, there is a slight scent of uh, rotting meat and uh, the sound of flies coming from within. They came Tell from that tent. Fall. Yes. Possibly. Bucket's going to like 
open the flap with one of his swords and like peer in. Okay. Um I would say this bucket. Give me a wisdom saving throw. Okay, you hold your uh, your constitution together as best you can. It's not a nice sight in there. You see a set of uh, metal cages. Um, it's almost like um, an abattoir or a kennel or laboratory or something. It's it's a mess in there. Um. What you do notice is, as well as um, the uh, remains of uh, ropes and leashes, uh, which appear to have been snapped by uh, the zombies that broke through, uh, you do notice uh, the chewed remains of at least one other individual. It was probably a snack for the creatures. Thank you. Just, just gonna turn and like open the flap wide enough to shoot Tarth. Like, I believe this is where they performed their rituals on these creatures. Uh, bear with me just one second, guys. Sorry, be right. He's an Asia. So, we're going to take a uh, brief 15-20 uh, minute break, uh, apologies, my beautiful wife is unfortunately not doing too good and our delightful fur baby is uh, insisting that she go out. So, we will return to uh, this uh, TPK in progress in a little bit, if that's okay with everybody. Yep. In the meantime, uh, this is a little slideshow that I uh, set up. Uh, this is uh, some of... Uh, this was basically all the artwork that uh, I could find of uh, our dear bloodies. You know, some of the awesome stuff that they made for us. Fan art of our characters, shit posting. Uh, that's the very first piece of Ez fan art ever made, so... Yeah. I remember watching her work on that Velo. Yeah, mm. the Dane pitch is amazing. Mm. I was so touched with them. Yeah, we miss you. Uh, mm. Mm. I don't. <laughs> Perhaps. I don't think it's it's working on my end. It says mm. you're showing your camera, but oh, it's a. Uh... Uh, not on Discord, it's on yeah. Twitch there. Yeah. He had to stop streaming on Discord because it was breaking shit. Mm -hmm. So, I'm actually going to stop streaming on Twitch as well for uh, about 10-15, uh, okay? Appreciate the, your patience, well, the good, guys. Well, the good news is, now that the Crypto Bros are... Well... Ruined. Get it, getting what's coming to them. They're that starting to sell off cheaper. their... Yeah, and they're starting to sell off all their old graphics cards. And, good news, Linus Tech Tips did a bit of research on that, and actually tested 